welcome back to another video so this is a video i've been wanting to make for a very long time and that is my college move in vlog so i got into sept university initially i'd gotten into ip university and i was totally set on going there like i had my classes the next day but then on 3rd october i suddenly got a call from sept saying that i got in and sept is like my second dream college after nid so i was pretty ecstatic but then i also got to know i had to leave within two days and that like made me panic and uh, you know when the re realization hit I kind of cried because I didn't want to leave my friends and everyone here so soon but well it is what it is like after going there it was actually pretty fine but yeah so here is the video and uh, just so you know like I didn't uh, remember to film the packing part of it so this is going to be from the day um uh, that I actually have my flight. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So once we reached the airport, we checked in our baggage and went through the security check. There was a beautiful sunset outside and after that our flight was a bit delayed so they gave us access to the Air India lounge. The lounge was pretty big and they had a lot of food items there. I tried some of the croissants and a donut. The croissant was okay uh, but the donut was pretty good. After that it was time to board the flight. Halfway through the flight they gave us some water bottle and a disgusting sandwich and then soon we were about to land in Ahmedabad which looked much less lit up and crowded compared to Delhi. After that we boarded off the plane, got into a bus and went to the airport which was also much less crowded compared to Delhi. And then I went to the washroom once, we got our suitcases and then we went out of the airport. So this was the point where we had to wait for almost an hour because the Ola and Uber we had booked, they were not coming to pick us up. And even the auto people that were there, they were all drunk, charging way too much and just seemed very sketchy. But thankfully, we eventually found an auto who was willing to take us at a reasonable price. Once we reached the hotel, we had another fiasco because the hotel charged us for a deluxe room but then gave us a standard room and the photos shown on the website did not match the actual rooms. But eventually we had no choice as it was late, we couldn't go to a different place so we decided to just settle for it. After that we freshened up, ordered dinner which tasted pretty sweet like all Gujarati food. And then, yeah, we were pretty tired, so we fell asleep. Party, 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 party. 
So the next morning we went to the SEPT University admissions office to go through all of the administrative procedures. After that we roamed around the campus a little bit and also went to see various PG accommodations. So here are those clips. Eventually we went back to the first PG accommodation as it was the only decent place but they were charging a lot and they had some sketchy terms and conditions so my father argued with them but they were not willing to budge so we had to just go for it. After that we went to this restaurant where I ordered pasta but it literally tasted like kheer made out of pasta. I just couldn't eat it. But yeah after that we went back and fell asleep. After that we went to the campus for document verification and it was lunchtime by the time we finished so we went to the canteen where I sat and got some work done for some time like setting up my SEPT email ID and then I had some lunch which was actually not that bad and then we went to the print shop and stationery shop to get all of my stationery and get my timetable printed. We had a lot of stationery that we had to buy, so here is a picture of me holding all of that. After that we again took an auto and went to my PG so I can drop off all of my stationery stuff. And then we shifted to a new hotel which was much better than the previous one. We ordered some snacks in the evening and watched a movie and relaxed. Then again it was soon dinner time and we ordered some chicken for once, after which we were all tired so we fell asleep. After all the shopping, we went to a 5 star South Indian restaurant as we were all craving something spicy unlike the sweet Gujarati food that we've been having. The place ambience was nice but the food was actually pretty average and we could not fully enjoy it. After that we booked a cab and went to Gandhinagar to meet some friends there and uh, one of my friends there took me to see NIFT and NID. We could not enter the campus but we saw from outside and it looked pretty cool. After that we came back, had dinner and fell asleep. So the next day we went shopping at this place called National Handlooms where they sell all sorts of household items. It's basically like a big supermarket. So I bought a lot of things for my room like cutlery and bed sheets and whatnot. After that I again went to the PG to dump all of my stuff 
and then we went to another restaurant for lunch and this was the first place where the food was actually pretty good and not sweet after that we went to the sabarmati river front to go on a boat ride which was short but sweet and relaxing After that I had to say goodbye to my parents and officially move into my PG where I started unpacking all of my stuff.